Hello, welcome to Resilcover. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you should learn things when it comes to programming. So right now I'm learning something called TypeScript, which is a language for writing some code under servers. And basically uh, I'm writing cloud functions for Firebase because on my app Weak Sweep, about which I talked previously, there are some things that need to be managed on the back end, which cannot be done from the client side, from the Kotlin code, right? So I need to learn TypeScript in order to write functions for the cloud, for the server. And how I am doing that? Well, as you probably know, or as you can uh, like deduce, I never wrote the TypeScript function in my life before, but I need to learn that quickly because I need to learn some production code which will be good to go for the actual production app so it cannot have bugs and any of that stuff so how can I make something how can I code something pretty quickly and understand that code and also make it function properly so the best way to learn when you already have some kind of a programming language learned, like I have, for example, I started off with C Sharp, uh, then I learned Kotlin, so I know programming quite well already, right? Uh, so if you have some kind of a language that you already know, and it's programming language, right? Other languages, you are going to just you will be able to learn them on the fly as you go. So, as far as learning the first language, you should also like probably pick up some book, uh, go through some tutorials and stuff. But when you are learning some new technology and a second language, the best way that you can learn that second language and second technology or something, when you already know something before, is to just dive right into it. So what I am doing right now is that I feel really uncomfortable doing it. Not now, but when I started off, oh my gosh, it was so bad. I felt horrible because what I am basically doing is that I took some code from the GitHub repository, official GitHub repo for uh, the things that I need to be doing in my backend with TypeScript for Cloud Functions and I took that example and I examined it. I examined it like crazy. So I didn't even check the official documentation. I only examined the example, the samples from uh, the GitHub repository. So basically, I needed to find out for myself what is going on in that code. And that, can, that is easier said than done. It will take you quite a bit of effort, but in the end, this will be much quicker than if you wanted to do the same thing by going through tutorials. Because when you are learning from tutorials, you learn some dumb sh stuff, right? Uh, because you don't need all of that. You don't need to learn about the basics. You don't need to learn about many intricacies when the only thing that you can learn is the thing that you need to do. And as you are learning the thing that you need to do, you will learn all of the intricacies, but you will learn them like implicitly, not explicitly. So that's how you should be learning uh, second language, second framework, second technology for programming, just dive right in. When you're only your, your first language, you should probably uh, like really check some tutorials, check some books. For example, C Sharp was my first language. I have a C Sharp book, C Sharp 6.0 in a nutshell. But when you are learning a second language, now just dive right in and you are going to be much better off. So. If you like this video, give this video a like and also share it. 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials like this and some some uh, like tips about how to learn things in programming and coding and leave a comment if you have anything to say and see you in the next video.